And the thing that I want to make uh, clear, I know we've we've got on white people a lot, uh, but I want to make clear that like the term white privilege does really just it only falls in the white people category, right? Because it's it's white privilege, but that also goes for everyone else too, right? There is privilege amongst other races because other races have tried to create that pocket for themselves, yeah. which again is insane because if you think about it because white people have taken over the spot as like they have to be number one and dominant on everything and we get first dibs on everything and all this other shit, right? Now people fight for the number two or number three spots just just to not be considered the, the lowest of the low, mm-hmm. which is again, that's something that is white created and it's like you know, now, it's, it, like, you talk about it, that's when you have, like, uh, Hispanic people who don't associate themselves with black people at all. Yep. And, and it's purely just because, I, and, I, and again, it sucks, but I get it. Because from a social, from an economic standpoint, and from a, a perception standpoint, if you associate with them, you're going to be treated just like them. So don't do it. Right, right which I hate because it's, it's the quick fix. Yeah. It's, and quick fixes, uh, they never have lasting change. If, if you could think, if you could just see far enough ahead... And let's not let's not fight for number two. Let's just make let's fight together to be number one. To be number one, or to make everyone even. Yeah, to make everyone number one. Yeah, basically, like that could change shit, man. That then then shit like when you're told like all you gotta do is work hard and you'll get there. That shit will be true. Imagine if that shit was true. Yeah. Imagine if that's all you had to do was work hard. I have we a, would be fucking millionaires, man. You know, like, we work hard as shit. I have a coworker who, uh, every time I bring up like severe, like, uh, it's like they're they're just gaping large gaps in gaping. F- <laughs> gaping. Uh, <laughs> there's like large gaps in fairness and opportunities at my job, right? And I, I'm not going to say the name of my job or anything like that. I'm not going to bash or anything like that. But there's, like, there's big. It's overwhelming at points. Like, we don't, a lot of minorities there do not get um, their just do a fair shake, anything, any benefit of the doubt, right? I have a coworker. She's very good at her job. But she believes because she's so good at her job um, that everyone doesn't get certain things because they're just not good at their job. And when I try to I try to get into her mind is I'm like, look, you're you're honestly the best person at this job that I know, right? And she's like, yeah. Of course. Of course. You're right. Which I'm like, fine. I agree with you. You are. But you're doing all this every day. You are working yourself to the fucking bone. Every day. And how often are you actually praised for it? How often are you actually respected for it? How often do you actually get what you want when you ask for it? However, there and I'm not I'm I'm gonna be blunt with my shit. At my job, it's predominantly Asians, right? So the 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 head boss is Korean. The people I work with, majority of the managers are Korean. Majority of the rest of the staff is Korean. Right, and, it, and that's not something that where it's like, oh no, you you chose to work there. And no, it wasn't like that when I started. All right, it wasn't like that when I started. It's not like, like it was listed on the job yeah. application. Like. Yeah, it's like, hey, a lot of Koreans there. A lot of Koreans. <laughs> just, just telling you now. Um, but uh, you know, it's predominantly it's Koreans, right? And that changed over time because the boss, the the main boss, is Korean, and it's clear he has a a vision of what he wants to work with and work under, which is nothing but Koreans. So the people who are there, who are good at their jobs, her, me, other people who have been there, right, we clearly are second fiddle. She does not want to see herself as second fiddle, which is noble. I respect it because, yeah, she's like, no, I'm the best and I can prove it. Cool, great. I used to try to get into her head. I'm like, all the shit that you're doing and you in the same spot that I'm in. And I've mentally checked out of this place like six months ago, all right? I do basically my job. I do it well. I make sure that they can't catch me on anything else. After that, I don't care about doing extra because I know... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I know for a fact. I know I'm legit there. I am a statistic. I am okay. We have another. We have a black person. I know that to a, I know that for a fact. Yeah. So I know that... We all, met the quota. Yeah. All I got to do is just do my job and nothing's going to happen to me, right? 
And I try to get that into her head, but she's like, no, no, you have to do this, you have to do that, you just, just work harder, make them show, show them that you're gonna, I'm like, look, you do all that shit, and you're in the, the same nose I get, you get. The same money you get, I get. The same days off you get, I get. The same days off you don't get, I don't get. Yeah. So tell me how, because you see yourself way up here. Because you work so hard. Yeah, tell me how that's, that's working out for you. And maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about when I have to say we have to bring up this shit to people because it's bullshit. But mind you, uh, the, and like I said, it has nothing to do with, with uh, white people at, at this point. This is, this is Koreans, right? Yeah. So this is, they are the majority. No, I have people who are there I'm cool with who are Korean. I bring this up to them and they understand it, but they are not trying to help. Exactly my point. Like people in privilege, even, even if they did recognize it, yeah. like I'm not going to fuck up my spot. Yeah, like where I don't have to work as hard and still get this fucking money, who would do that? Who would do that? Logically, who would do it? That's the thing. Where yeah, where white people have it everywhere, every other minority has to create their pockets. Yeah, they have have to create something, and I'm like that mentality is a disease. It's dangerous because what happens is, like my job, like his job. I know his job is predominantly Hispanics. Yep. Like, and I benefit from it. <laughs> like, but, you know, um, and let's be honest, there's no black people at your job, right? No. If I, if I had power, like, if I wasn't pretty much the lowest man on, on the fucking totem, right. um, I'd change it. For sure I'd change it. Because I feel like when there's, when there's more diverse uh, diversity, like, in anywhere, uh, people it's, get stronger. Yeah, 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 people get stronger. Yeah. It's the same thing with, uh, with genes. It's like um, the... The, the dog with, like, the most, uh, like, he's not pure, but he's, like, a complete mutt. Like, genes from fucking every other kind of dog, some wolf, whatever like that, is the strongest dog. Has the strongest immunity, is more evolved, is all this shit. Right. So, I believe it's the same thing. It's just, like, where, where everyone's mixing up, you just get a stronger fucking team, right. whatever, you know? Because another thing about, like, working and stuff like that, when it is diverse, people don't... Uh, uh, companies don't realize that when you open yourself up to diversity, you're not only choosing a person from a different culture, but you're choosing a person from a different sort of circumstances and a different life than yep. you. So what so-and-so complains about because they're, they've had this whole privileged life and they just can't understand why this laptop isn't working and, oh, my God, I have to finish this report by four. What, what, what am I going to do and everything like that? The dude who grew up in the fucking ghetto is like, okay, well then just go to another computer or let's do some other shit or maybe we can go over here because we, we, st- right. we still got time. Instead of complaining, the thing of solutions. Exactly, because niggas know shit when fucking rent's doing the first and fucking you only got you got four hundred more dollars to make rent. It ain't yeah. gonna be no. And it's, it's the fucking. Hey, the computer 20th. wasn't yeah. working. It's the twentieth. You can't go to the landlord and be like, hey, um, I I didn't get paid enough money. <laughs> yeah, like no, you got to make that money. Like you had like you had to hustle like. And it's like, when you mix shit like that, it works. But to go back to my point, they were, they're the, the, the majority. They're not trying to help me. They, they get me. They agree with me. They're not trying to help me. For what? Why? Why change my standing here? Why jeopardize me, like Mark said, doing significantly less? All right? When I can keep doing this shit, I can openly keep coming here. And it's funny because, like, this is just my opinion. Um, This might sound crazy. And I know people are going to be like, no, it's possible. But, okay. So everyone always says to find a job that you love doing so that it doesn't feel like work, right? But when people say that, that means, like, their actual passion, right? A lot of the people I work with, their passion is not pharmacy, all right, my passion is not pharmacy. All right, I just happen to be good at it because I have a good memory. But that's it, right? It pays the bills. Like, okay, my passion is shit like this, right? However, this is the one job that I've been to where a lot of people say that they love coming to work. And it's only the Koreans. <laughs> it's never any of the minorities. It's only the fucking Koreans. And I'm like, it's funny because I'm like, well, yeah, you love, you love coming to work because you don't, I mean, you don't, you don't got to do shit. It's stress-free. You get to, like, do all this other shit. You get to go to lunch whenever. You have all your friends here. It's like, that's awesome. I would love to, love to work somewhere like that, too. Hell yeah. Like, you know, but I'm like, for other people, this shit is a job, and we hate it. Yeah. And we don't want to be here, like, more than our we eight hours. We fuck up once. That's it for us. Yeah, we fuck up. We getting blamed. <laughs> Hard, too. Hard blaming. Rough. 
Anal. Yeah, I'm blaming <laughs> oh, Blame me all night. <laughs> I love being blamed. Blamed, y'all. Oh, daddy, blame me. Blame? <laughs> I'm blaming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we worked in porn. Yay. Uh, HDIKY staples. <laughs> Nigger and porn. <laughs> Let's mix it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigger porn? Jill would have got it. Did you hear about that shit with Tim Allen, like him getting called like super racist Mm -hmm. for not knowing spades? Um, I thought that was the reason, but apparently he, from this is just based on Twitter, what it said. uh, Apparently, a couple years back, he he demanded to use the N word. Like, why can't we use the N word? Well, Tim Allen, it's funny because man, I love, I grew up loving. Me too. Tim that's Allen. the thing. But he's yeah. Um, I, I get what he's doing because he's been on this crusade of like, everything's too PC. Everything's too PC. This is so dumb. Everything like you can't because he he he's a Republican. He's a, he's a he's a known Republican. Yeah. He's like, he's been on this whole campaign for like the last four or five years, pretty much saying like, oh, if you're a Republican in Hollywood today, like every door is closed for you. Uh, you can't get any work. No one, no one wants to even listen to you. No one wants to even care about you. It's basically seen as like you're a murderer. I'm like, yeah, it's like being black, <laughs> isn't it? What? Isn't it Tim? Um, <laughs> That's when he does it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tim! Oh, all right, Tim. Two time reboot. <laughs> I would watch meal that. time. <laughs> Tim can't find a job. <laughs> Gotta pay the bills somehow, Tim. <laughs> Fucking the fuck was a drug dealer and it's, it's looked at so wrong. Oh, that thing, that too, man. That, that, <laughs> that too, thing, man. yeah, that too. Like fucking anytime LeBron's you see a, fucking Heidi, a movie uh, about like, uh, let's say like a white drug dealer, it's always like, oh, he had to do it because he had to feed his yeah. family and it's so heroic. Blow, and, uh, that that new white boy Rick movie yeah, or whatever. I want to watch that, but uh, yeah, that's not, I just because Matthew McConaughey is a I, cool actor. <laughs> it's fine. Continue, though, continue. But, yeah, it's shit like that. And I want to say, like, uh, if, if this is the last thing I say about it, um, and if, if you made it this far, and if you didn't bring people here, if you're mad about, like, even the phrase white privilege, That's think white about... privilege. <laughs> that is white privilege. Uh, but think about what we have to deal with. We, forever, since we were, since I don't even know where it came from, we're called Minorities. Minorities. That's pretty much definition of like less than. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But you want to be mad about being called pretty much number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Because no one wants to be no one. No one likes the truth. Yeah. The truth is something. Yeah, it'll set you free. Yeah, that I believe in that. But also, it's something that will ultimately kill you if you don't want to accept it. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, a lot of people don't want to accept it. We live in a neighborhood that is predominantly white people. Nobody says anything to us. Not at all. <laughs> and, I mean, for me, I like it. But uh, Yeah, I also prefer not to interact with humans. Uh, but um, also, I know what time it is over here, right? So I know if shit hits the fan, um, yeah. Like, we're either... I'm going yeah. like, to be blamed. He, he's going to be blamed. Uh, whoever's going to be blamed. Yeah. If shit this. happens to go down and we're just, like, strolling, like, taking a walk or something, and we're just in an area, automatically getting blamed. For a quick story... Um, this was like maybe four months ago, but do you remember that night that we were going to the, um, to the barcade Yeah. and then those fireworks went off yeah. and then we were, I, we were walking to my car, right? And we were about to leave and this cop car pulls up on the side of us and he's like, Hey, um, you guys know, know where any fireworks been uh, coming from or anything like that? And we're like, yeah. was it you? I think it was you. Yeah. Man. I was just like, yeah, I hear them. I think they're coming from over there. Like yeah. I don't, the fireworks, like the crazy uh, they, every, loud noise. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't pinpoint that shit. Yeah. But I found it hilarious that he specifically went up to us. Yeah. The only minorities in the neighborhood mm-hmm. to ask, do you know where the fireworks are at? And like Mark said, they're fireworks. Yeah. Why would we know? The, like, like, and this is what happens. Like, you know, it, it sucks. There's been instances recently when we've been in stores and people have said some super racist shit. Just, just, just a couple of days ago, I went to. Uh, I was looking at wedding venues. You, uh, you guys know, uh, you know, I'm engaged. I was looking at wedding venues uh, in Brentwood. Going back to OJ uh, <laughs> in Brentwood. Full circle. See what we did. Full circle. So I'm looking at wedding uh, shit in Brentwood, right? And this lady, the receptionist, goes. So, did you guys have any uh, trouble finding the place? And I go, oh, you no, know, a little bit of trouble. You know, it's kind of weird around here. And she goes like, oh, ha, ha, ha. yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, this is a place that you've never seen before in your life. 
that is racist. Why do I? Why uh, can I never have seen these places in my life or seen something close to this in my life? Because it because it didn't look any different from any other rich area I've ever been into. It wasn't like a oh my god. Like, it was like no, it looks just like honestly, it looks like around here. To be honest with you, like I mean, we're not even rich, so that should, that should tell you. Like the shit, we, the shit we've seen, yeah. or whatever. Right? And it's always it's funny because like when those people get like, let's say if you did call her out on it, it would be like, oh, you're sensitive. It was just a joke. Yep. yep. I don't know. I don't think you know what jokes are. And the thing about it, and this is gonna be the last thing I say on this shit, like on oh, this whole situation, this whole shit. Um, when you're my when you're a minority, uh, I'm I'm only talking for myself or so specifically black people and things like that. You have to play every situation that happens like that with extreme caution and it sucks because there is days that I want to flip out and be like, what? But I know if I do that, it won't end well for me. It won't. Cause, uh, sadly I am a a big black man who works out and people can see that I work out and shit happens. Right. And people, I'm automatically the aggressor from afar. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, okay. No, because my boss told me this story recently. He said, like, when he was in high school, um, I think it was, it was a white guy basically calling uh, a black guy. He was like, you, like, with the hard ER. Right. I'm not going to say it. Um, he was like, you fucking bull, you know, that. And, you know, shit went down. And when the cops came, the first person they tased was, was the black guy. While he's getting tased, the white guy is still screaming these fucking racist obscenities. And then, like, eventually the white gets taken, like, he gets, like, you know, arrested too, but, like, you know, for causing shit. But it's just, like, do you see there? Like, I'm, like, I'm be- I'm the one being yelled at, calling these fucking racial obscenities, but I'm still getting tased first. Yeah. Like, and this this, this might be the be the, the lead-in for, like, the, the, the videos or whatever, or this might be a trailer. Um, I've been arrested. No, I'm not been arrested. I've been arrested twice. Uh... And I've been uh, released, but I, I've had charges that all would have stinned me at least total 15 years total. Um, beat both of those. <laughs> um, uh, I've been pulled over um, 11 times. That's where the 11 comes from. Uh, never had a ticket in my life. Uh, I've been thrown uh on top of police cars i've been thrown on top of hoods um i've been searched for random reasons that i still don't understand to this day uh and i'm sitting here doing a podcast (laughs) Uh, like so think about it because of racism you almost couldn't watch us (laughs) no but i'm just saying oh not to mention uh we've, we've had our house raided (laughs) <laughs> that was a fun morning. Yeah, that's another story that you guys are gonna get when we get some well, we'll sponsors. When we get some sponsors, <laughs> you'll get that story. Um, but uh, yeah, I've, uh, like a lot of stuff that people might see the me as like crazy has happened to me, and I've been because of how we've grown up and everything like that. It's just like a yep, normal day. Yep. Yeah, that's right. We we're talking about that. Like pretty much everyone in the hood gets has PTSD, but they have to live with it. Yeah, and that's why when you see people flip out, like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Like, it just finally got to him. I've said- and the, the only reason he got he got off on those things, not because of like the due process and all that shit, because he stayed calm. Yeah, I was I was just about to say that. I was like, I'm. Uh, and it's just because of where we come from or whatever. Me being put in handcuffs and being put in the back of a police car does nothing to me. It's just normal. Like I don't freak out. I'm like. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yeah, I've been. I've sat in cells with niggas who they're not coming home. The, you know what I've done? We've had conversations. We chilled out. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and that's and that isn't like a, a a whole like oh see look at me I'm so tough and we're we're we're, we're from the hood and all that yeah. shit. No, that's simply because this is what happens the, over here. Just another day. It's just another day. All right, and it sucks and it's sad because yes that that happened. All right. I've had my car stripped. <laughs> Your fucking protein drink. <laughs> I've had my car stripped. Like, Ugh. and uh, again, this is this is me. All right. I, if I if I ever have like my, he's uncle, not black. He's Dwayne. I'm Dwayne. All right. 
If I ever had like my uncles or I can't I can't have my dad sadly, but if I ever had any of them on the shit that they've been through or whatever, and they they were doing shit, but I'm like the shit that, that they've been through is way more insane than, than like the my stuff. The people people look at my stuff like damn, like and I'm like yeah, that's that's normal. I'm actually I'm actually on on, on, on the low scale of shit <laughs> that I mean I'm not, but you know what I mean like uh, it's like. I'm actually one of the ones I'm like, damn, that's that's pretty much low compared to like my cousins and shit. My cousin. Had that's had... how we rationalize things too. Exactly. Like, well, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as that story I heard about there, so it's okay. My cousin got caught in some bullshit where he there was people with him, and the, the situation that he, that they got caught with wasn't even his. And the cops told him that, hey, we know it's not yours, but just tell us. Whose it is. Not, okay, we're going to do an investigation. We're going to figure out, you know, whose it is. We're going to talk to all you guys. Fuck it. You own the car. (laughs) You're the licensed person in in this vehicle. Yeah, we know it's not yours. Whose is it, though? Oh, you ain't going to tell us? Okay. Going to put it all on you. My cousin, my cousin, his whole life has changed because he had to plead some shit he didn't even do. Central Park Five. So again, we talk about privilege and all this other shit. Shut slap. They almost say about shit like that. Yeah. Because there's the good stories for fucking days, man. Yeah, I can go. We can go. Hey, fucking, well, we go three hours on yeah, this shit. When when the fucking uh, when the wait, when we get to a streaming service, you you guys will get that. Yeah, because we can. Because <laughs> we can. Uh, plugs. Uh, you can find us on YouTube.com slash How Do I Know You. Probably watching us right now on there. Yep. Um, you can find us on Instagram, hashtag, uh, yeah, H-D-I-K-Y-1. There's no hashtag in front of it. <laughs> H-D-I-K-Y-1. Yep. Still, uh, I never changed the picture, I think. Yeah, we had to Oh, wait, it's just us. It's just we're, like, posed with yeah, this. Yeah, no, on Instagram, yeah, it's just us. Yeah. We're probably going to change that, too, on, once we get Yeah. On Twitter, we are at How Do I Know You 1 with cute little picture of hippo still. Yep. Working on the logo. Yeah. Artists start take a very long time. <laughs> um, you can find my personal ones, Instagram, Twitter... You know me, I engage with you. Mr. Lucky005. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at DCJunior13. That's where I will engage with you if you at me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at DCJuniorBFSB. I will not engage with you because it's whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's cool. Also, if you come at, come at us with strong opinions and stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come out the woodwork. Please stand on it. Yeah, please Please do. stand on it. Please do. And for people who think that it's like, oh, uh, Dwayne doesn't engage or whatever, you're right. But um, also, I see everything. So if there's something that uh, he shows me or something I see or whatever, and it does catch my attention, yeah, it probably is going to happen. Yeah. I'll probably be like, hey, well, well, hey, this is whatever. There's been some people that I've replied to and be like, hey. Whatever. Hey, I like this. And by, by please stand on it, I don't mean like fucking come at me with your anger and like, no, it could, yeah. it's like, no, I want a proper debate to like, so we could like expand our minds. So like, oh, okay, I never saw it that way or you never saw it my way and shit like that. And then yeah. now we're both smarter because of it. Yeah, none, we're, none of us are scared of debates or anything yeah. like that. I don't talk to people on, on these platforms because they're stupid. So, so I just don't have the time to convince you of some shit that you already just it's already in, in your mind, so I'm not going right. to... Why waste my time? Why? All right, cool. You feel how you feel. Thanks for listening. And you refuse to even listen yeah, to one point listen of to mine. Me. Yeah. So you, you just want to yell. You just want to hear what you want to hear. And it's cool. That's the people we don't engage with. Like, yeah. but I've taken a more serial approach. Just like, I'm not going to talk to anybody. Uh, that's, that's me, though. That's my, that's my, my personality. Uh, Mark is <laughs> different. Mark is like, you know, I'll talk to y'all. I'll, I'll engage. You, yeah. I'll, you guys entertain me. You do. It's fun. But, as I always say, oh, wait, no, one more thing. We are at the magical number of 400 right now. I know we're, we're To be over. exact, like 407, 408. Yeah, we're, we're over 400 now. So, we are, this, this is the countdown. This is, we might cut this part of the video out and put it, like, on YouTube or Twitter or some shit or whatever. But, um, we're, we are at the countdown now. We are less than 100 subscribers away from 500. Once we get there, the full audio podcast will no longer be on YouTube. Now there might be like a little bit of a buffer, might be like maybe a week in like in between that. Or yeah, because we're getting set up and everything. Yeah, like it might be like a transition period. But I'm gonna tell you now, if 
everything does go smoothly, which it looks like it probably will go pretty smoothly. If it goes smoothly, um, once we hit 500, whatever's on the YouTube channel will still be there, but do not look for the remaining audio on the YouTube channel. It will yeah, not be going there. forward. Moving forward, it will not be there. So once Ooh, we they might get the hidden episodes. Ooh. Ooh. We might do that. We might, might give you guys the hidden episodes. Yeah, the hidden ones. That, oh, the good old Bill Cosby episode. <laughs> oh, man. The Bill Cosby episode that I could finally life. show you guys those clips. Man, that was we, we was wild in that night. Yeah. That was crazy. Early that was, episodes. That was our rat infested yeah. apartment. And we didn't give a <laughs> fuck. Um, but <laughs> came up now. We getting money, baby. <laughs> no, nah, but um, yeah, definitely. Um, it will be on a streaming service. The audio now. As for video, there you guys will still get the hot takes. Uh, workout Wednesdays, all that, all whatever we come up with yep. content wise, it'll still be on the YouTube channel. So continue to, to subscribe and support and all that cool stuff. But another thing that I'm gonna start to um. I guess implement a little bit. Um, if you guys like to see the full video, okay, you guys like to see the full video of the actual podcast. So us talking and joking around, see all our mannerisms, all that cool stuff. Because people do like that. Um, eventually, I'm gonna set like a subscriber number to make it make sense. Right, because we also want to monetize this YouTube channel. Yeah, to be real with uh, everyone. Yeah, to be to, to be completely transparent, we do this because we like it, but also we want to, and it's not even for like our monetary gain, right? Yeah, we we want to monetize the channel so we can put more shit into this. We could upgrade this green screen thing. Yeah, and we can could afford an iron to iron out the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I have an iron. No, you never have. <laughs> that's, that's a it's a joke. Oh, okay, my bad. I'll take <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll iron it, man. Um, but um. We we want to monetize to put money back into this and yeah. to provide you guys with the best possible show we can provide you guys with because you guys you guys know we have regular jobs we are regular people we just happen to know cool people um which is weird but um, we happen to know cool people and they like support us and help us out which is great but we are still regular people and we do not always have the funds to have the latest and greatest or whatever but you guys like us because of the shit that we talk about which is cool. But moving forward, if you guys want to see the whole full video, I will set a subscriber number. We, me and him have to talk about it and see where it's going to be at. But once we get there, the full vids will be released. So you guys can have the full video on YouTube and the audio on uh, the streaming service. And then you guys can ball out and have all the fun in the world yep. that you want. We're giving you options. You got options from us. And also, I want to make it clear that you guys are a big part of our decision making. So oh, yeah. you guys... If you want something from us, if you guys are like, if you know, when the next couple of weeks, when it comes from the podcast or the hot takes or whatever, if you guys say like, hey, guys, don't do Instagram, do Spotify. Don't do Spotify, do I mean, Instagram. Wow. Um, <laughs> don't do iTunes, do Spotify. Don't do Spotify, do Stitcher or whatever. 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 Yeah. It's like, we're going to see it, okay? We're going to see it, and whatever makes the most sense that you people like, we'll go there. It doesn't matter to us. Whatever, right? We want to provide you guys with the best possible content and experience that we can provide you guys with. So, please continue to support. We love you guys. Thank you guys for listening, watching, commenting, sharing stuff, which is crazy. Um, we appreciate it all, and we're getting somewhere with this. You guys keep growing with us. We're going to keep, hopefully, making you guys proud of us and making you guys actual... Are proud to be fans of what we're doing and not i guess feel like fans feel like a family one big mm-hmm. ass weird family over here but that we just talk shit about shit and uh joke around and have serious moments and get smarter and get smarter every day but as i always say if i don't know and you don't know who really knows how do i know you thanks for listening thanks for watching on the hot takes and everything like that next week we're gonna talk about nicole Simpson. <laughs> It's a 90s month. Yep. It's all 90s. <laughs> Did your own joke break you? <laughs> it's just like her head and it's just talking from the night. <laughs> Futurama status? Yep. Uh, but peace.